is hereby called to order. I'd like to acknowledge the presence of Senator uh, Francis Tolentino and uh, other senators uh, online. Uh, the Senator uh, Robin Padilla, who is also online, members of the Senate Committee on Marawi Rehabilitation and Victims Compensation. Thank you for attending today's hearing. For today's organizational meeting, we shall be listening to updates and reports from relevant government agencies as to the status of the rehabilitation of the city of Marawi. Before we begin the briefing of the task force and different departments and agencies, let us allow the committee to consider some administrative matters. For the record, this special committee on Marawi City Rehabilitation is composed of this representation as chairperson, Senator Tolentino as the vice chairperson, and the members, Senator Ejercito, Go, Marcos, Padilla, and Conteveros. Before I continue, uh, kala ko online, nakalagay din sa papel, online ko daw, kaya in-acknowledge kita online. Uh, I would like to acknowledge the physical presence of Senator uh, Robin Padilla. Robin Hood Padilla. Thank you. Who is also very loyal to Marawi. At this point, uh, let me acknowledge the physical... Saan ba tayo? We shall now, uh, we shall now adapt the provisions of the rules of the Senate as the rules, the rules of procedure, the warning inquiries in aid of legislation, as the internal rules of procedure of this committee in conducting this hearing and investigations. Instead of drafting a new set of rules, I would now welcome a mill. A motion to simply adapt and subscribe to the to these rules as the rules of this committee. The chairman, I, I so move that we adapt uh, the existing rules pursuant to the existing uh, uh, Senate rules uh, to simplify the procedures of this committee. I so move, Mr. Chair. Is there any objection? Hearing none, the rules are hereby adopted and uh, as I stated in the rules of the Senate, including the rules of procedure, governing inquiries in of legislation. I would like to acknowledge the online presence of Senator Amy Marcos. Ma'am, good afternoon po. Now may I request uh, the committee secretary to recognize the guests and the resource persons present today in today's hearing. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Good afternoon. We would like to acknowledge the presence of the following guests from the Task Force Bangon Marawi, um, Under Secretary Marlene M. Pintor. Good afternoon, ma'am. Assistant Secretary Felix J. Castro, sir. From the Department of Education, Director Ronilda Arco. Uh, Mr. Orlando B. Barachina, Ar Ar Architect Anthony B. Nito. Thank you, sir. From the Department of Age, uh, Energy, would like to recognize the presence of Engineer Rodeli S. Limbaga. Okay. Ms. Janeline D. Marasigan, Ms. Lenny Almenson Etkoy. Thank you. From the Department of Trade and Industry, we would like to recognize the following Assistant Secretary Dominic Lentino. Good afternoon, sir. Ms. Irene for the for Tadiria and Ms. Mr. Matthew Osit and Ms. Morai Bustran. 
from the Department of Public Works and Highways, uh, Mr. Francisco Sawali. Sir. Uh, Mr. Gregorio Dison and Ms. Mary Ann Glorioso. From the National Electrification Administration, uh, with us today is Engineer Federico Villar. Yes, sir. Engineer Swaib Ameri Dianca. Thank you, sir. From the National Housing Authority, Engineer Rismi Tutalu Mundanan. From the Local Water Utilities Administration, Mr. Rodney Peralta. Here, sir. On, uh, joining by you online. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. From the NCIP, all of them are online, sir. Director Mary Grace Boasen, Attorney Leslie May Plaza, and Attorney Adrian Regine Binuan. From the OCD, uh, Assistant Secretary Bernardo then Alejandro, sir. From the NEDA, Assistant Secretary Greg L. Pineda, Ms. Claire Michelle Balde, and Mr. Carl Christian D. Abalos. Dr. Mr. Chairman. Online, sir. Uh, we also have with us uh, the Mayor of Marawi City, uh, Mayor Majul Usman Gandamra. Sir. Good afternoon, Mr. Chairman and the members of the committee. Good afternoon. good afternoon, Mayor. Good afternoon. From LRA, sir, we have Attorney Robert Nomar, uh, Vili Leiretana. Thank you, sir. And Engineer Helen. Baba. Thank you, sir. That's all, sir. Thank you, Gunsek. Uh, before I continue, I would like to acknowledge the online presence of Senator Bongo. Once again, uh, good afternoon. Maaga yung ating hearing ngayon. Launa. Nag-glance na ba kayo? Ha? Okay lang? Ha? Baka may hindi pa kayo napag-glance na. Tapos sa... <laughs> Uh, siguro naglaas naman siguro. Uh, otherwise, magpakuha tayo ng pagkain sa kantin. Hindi pa kayo nakakain. Kakaya naman sa inyo. Almost five years since uh, former President Duterte's declaration of Marawi City has liberated from terrorist influence. It seems that uh, the rehabilitation is, is still ongoing. Hanggang ngayon, mabangon pa rin ang Marawi. When we understand that a global pandemic caused great delay, we also recognize the gravity, the urgency, Wartan Marawi beckons us to act and to act swiftly. Noong 18 Congress, ako rin ang naging chairperson ng Senate Special Committee on Marawi Rehabilitation. Isa sa mga mahahalagang nagawa ng committee ito ay matagong presidente ng Marawi kay President Duterte. Bukod pa rito, naipasa rin ang ng 18th Congress sa tulong ng kumiting ito ang Republic Act Number no. 11696 o ang Marawi Seeds Victims Compensation Act of 2022. Needless to say, we know full well that the work does not stop there. As senators of this republic, we are expected to see this through to the by Berto of Senate Committee No. 95 by the Senate, the Senate Special Committee on Marawi Rehabilitation and Victims Compensation was reconstituted as a 
assistance and cooperation rehabilitation our city until such rehabilitation is completed. The place victims' compensation has been added to our committee's name because this now forms part of our task to ensure that the seeds victims receive what is due to them. Again, I say we are called on to act and to act swiftly. Maraming salamat po. Before we begin our discussion, do we know if any of the senators present today would like to deliver their opening statement? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I have a short statement. Indeed, it's a privilege to be part of this committee. I can vividly recall we went to an ocular inspection. Uh, Marawi, we, we, we article start before your Mr. Online, we will know the status of that uh, water system that was six years ago. There's also interested in uh, the of the schools, uh, the elementary school that we uh, passed by when we visited that place. We're glad that the mosque is now uh, complete, has been completed. It was uh, President Duterte himself who was there. I would like to be a continuing part in the oversight of the Marawi rehabilitation. And in some parts of Mindanao, like for, for instance, yesterday, uh, we all know for a fact that Maguindanao was divided into Maguindanao del Norte and Maguindanao del Sur. And uh, I'm very honored, uh, modestly aside, to have been the author of that decision. It was 99%, 99.9% uh, yes votes, 712,000 uh, voted for the yes. Uh, for the division of Maguindanao del Norte and Maguindanao del Sur. But uh, for, for the Marawi Special Committee, Mr. Chairman, uh, rest assured to my continued support uh, as your sidekick here, uh, your Vice Chairman. Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, Vice Chairman uh, Senator Tolentino. Uh, I would like to inform this committee that last Friday, I again, I visited the uh, Ground Zero. And I very proud to tell you that yung uh, Bato Mosque was already reconstructed uh, modern, modern na modern na yung uh, Bato Mosque doon. Again, I, I, I posted a disclaimer that it was not named after the uh, chairman of this committee. It was uh, named long, long time ago before I was, before my existence ata, ando na yung uh, mosque na yun. Kaya uh, I'm just very happy and proud na nagkataon lang na kapangalan ko rin yung mosque at saka yung tao this name that mosque was named after is Sultan Sultan Bato at ayun basta may bato sa pangalan niya then i'm very happy uh, uh, thank you mr chair to, to reply i saw your post uh indeed your your uh, alumnus of uh, mindanao state university but yesterday while while you were there yesterday kabadon uh, uh, that friday friday and saturday yesterday and uh, some people there are uh, waiting for you because I promised that you will be there. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, uh, Vice Chairman. Uh, Senator Robin, Robin Hood Padilla, want to say, say something? Maraming salamat po. Mahal na tagapangulo. Magandang umaga at mahali po sa lahat po ng nandirito at sa lahat po ng uh, nasa online. Ako naman po ay wala na pong maibibigay pang statement sapagkat puro pagpapasalamat lang po ang pwede kong sabihin sa lahat sapagkat ito pong uh, uh, misyon na magkaroon ng rehabilitasyon sa Marawi ay kaligayahan po ito ng mga kapatid ninyong mga muslim. Ang sa akin po ay katanungan ngayon sa atin pong uh, sec sa komite ng sekretaryat ba't wala po dito yung uh, BAM Sana nandito po sana yung BAM sapagkat meron po silang komite para sa Marawi. Mas maganda po sana kung nandito yung sa BAM para sabay-sabay na po natin itong pag-usapan. Kasi ang uh, nangyayari po nito, mahal na chairman, mahal na tagapangulo, parang hiwalay po tayo ng diskarte. Mas maganda po sana kung sabay tayo na dumidiskarte para mas mapabilis po yung... Uh, 
mga gagawin nating uh, programa sa Marawi kasi ang hirap po ng alam niyo coordination dyan mismo minsan nagkakaroon ng problema eh. Katulad po chairman noong aming proyekto po doon na pabahay gusto ko rin po itanong ma'am ano na nangyari sapagkat tayo po ay kumalap ng mga sponsor uh, sa mga artista sa mga private citizen nag-delay po tayo ng luta sa BAM. Gusto po natin malaman kung ano pong nangyari na dahil ang sabi po nila, tatayuan nila ng bahay. Eh, nagpala naman po ng Panginoon Diyos na sinadur na tayo, baka kunin ko na lang kung yung lupa, ako na lang magtatayo ng bahay. Kasi yun lang po ang mga concern natin, mahal na chairman. Salamat po. Thank you, I love si Sir Rubinud Padilla. Uh, just was, I was just uh, informed by the Comsec that uh, uh organizational meeting in Bermuda ito uh, and a little update then maybe uh, next meeting uh, pag uh, kasama kasama na natin yung committee ng uh, Marawi Rehabilitation ng BAM uh, kasi ilagay natin ng launa para diretso sa kuha natin pero gawin natin umaga para pagbigyan natin lahat uh, kasama na yung committee nila thank you uh, your honor sa Senator Robin Padilla uh, for an orderly hearing, this shall be this shall be the sequence of presentation from government agencies. Uh, Task Force Bangun Marawi, number one, number two, uh, DPWH, number three, DOE, four, Department of Trade and Industry, five, Department of DepEd, six, Office of Civil Civil Defense, seven. LRA, Land Registration Authority. Sana wala nang problema dito. Kasi yan ito yung may pick up, mabigat na problema doon sa pag-return ng uh, uh, MAA, Most Affected Area. Number 8, National Electrification Administration. Uh, number 9, Lua. Anyway, nandiyan man Lua daw online and uh, we'll hear from him. Number 10, National Commission on Indigenous Peoples. Number 11, Local Chief Executives. Uh, so, it's uh, well the floor to this first Bangun Marawi for your presentation. You have the floor. Yeah, Thank you. Chair, good afternoon, everyone. First of all, allow me to express our gratitude to the honorable members of the Senate Special Committee on the Marawi rehabilitation and victims compensation headed by its chairperson senator uh, de la rosa and the vice chair senator tolentino and uh, member senator padilla and we have other members who are joining us online senator uh ejercito senator go senator um, marcos and senator hontiveros our secretary, Jose Rizalino Acosar, is sending apologies for not being able to personally attend today's meeting because of equally important prior commitments. Um, let me recall that Republic Act uh, 11696, otherwise known as an act providing compensation for the loss or destruction of properties and loss of lives as a result of the 2017 Marawi siege was signed by the former President Rodrigo Roa Duterte five months ago. This force Bangun Marawi, created by virtue of Administrative Order Number no. 3 in uh, 2019 as amended by AO9, is an interagency task force composed of 56 members and now headed by the Department of Human Settlements and Urban Development. Has 60.5 billion investment plan to build Marawi City and other affected localities. The TFBM Trust Fund is a 500 million budget transferred by the OP to the Housing and Urban Development Coordinating Council, now dissued in 2018. Okay, okay, the okay, fund interrupt you, Mr. Chairman. Yes. Okay. Was that 500 million or 500 billion? 500 million, sir, for the trust fund. Okay. The fund is used for the operational expenditures of the DSUD's TFBM Project Management Office. The PMO, which is composed of the National Secretariat and the Field Office, provides the necessary support to 
the interagency task force. Mainly the TFBM monitoring of the programs and projects, rehabilitation and reconstruction of Marawi. Thus, the PMO provides oversight function in the implementation of the Bangon Marawi Comprehensive Rehabilitation and Recovery Program. The PMO is tasked to ensure delivery of government's promise of full rehabilitation and recovery to the people of Marawi after the tragic 2017 siege. With me today is Assistant Secretary Felix Castro, the head of our TFBM Marawi Field Office, to further discuss the updates of the plan. Mr. Chair, may I request that ASEC Felix Castro be recognized and be allowed to do the presentation. Thank you. Uh, alam niyo kung gaano ka blisito si si Castro. Pumunta ko doon ng kognito lang ba pagdating ko pa picture kagad ko sa mga sa mga establishment doon. In gulo ta ko biglang dumating mas mas mabilis pa lang intel dito eh. Biglang dumating doon inahabol ako. But anyway, uh, uh, I wish uh, uh, I wish na sana matuloy-tuloy kayo diyan sa akin para may continuation yung trabaho ninyo. Uh, Sir, you have the floor. Right. Yeah. Right, right, sir. I would like to acknowledge the presence of uh, Senator J.B. Yasito. Thank you. Uh, of course, the uh, Senator De La Rosa, the chairperson of the Special Committee on Marawi Rehab and Victims uh, Compensation, uh, Senator Tatalentino, the Vice Chairman, Senator Padilla, Senator uh, Hersi Tuser, uh, Senator Marcos, Senator Ontiveros, and uh, Senator Go. Magandang hapon po sa inyo lahat. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'll be presenting an update on the rehabilitation of Marawi City. Uh, yung... Thank you. The outline of uh, my presentation is as shown. Next slide, please. I'll uh, touch on the uh, status of the displaced households, uh, Marawi housing projects, uh, Katagumbalay, which is the return of the IDPs uh, to their houses in the most affected area, management of the dead and the missing, Marawi's uh, most affected area development projects, special projects, uh, mosque and uh, Sarimanok Stadium, implementation of the Marawi Seeds Victims Compensation Act, and that will be capped with a short video presentation. Next slide, please. So as of today, um, 28,375 households have already returned. Of course, these are on the less affected area, meaning to say this is outside uh, the most affected area. This is composed of 72 barangays, and uh, several months after the siege, na nakabalik na po sila sa kanilang mga tirahan. As far as most affected areas is concerned, we have documented 95 households who have returned and the uh, 953 has been resettled to uh, permanent houses. We are uh, ongoing permanent houses, so may nakatira na po doon na 953 households. Uh, we have uh, transitory shelters also. Uh, we have now 4,916 uh, households living in transitory shelters. Uh, we have, I think, around sites. And uh, meron tayong home base na 11,829 households. So ito yung status uh, as of now. Next, please. For the housing projects, uh, we have, uh, as I have said, 4,916 transitory units. Uh, meaning to say, uh, these are temporary in nature. 
ang nakatira po dyan ay yung mga nakatira sa most affected area. In the meantime, that they have not yet uh, reconstructed or repaired their houses, uh, we have resettled them, uh, settled them in uh, six sites, uh, which we call temporary shelter units. Uh, we have 4,916 completed as of now. Next. Sir, excuse me. Yes, sir. What will happen to these uh, structures kapag uh, nakabalik na sila doon? Ito, ang gagawin dito? Um, it will depend on the local government unit. Uh, ang local government unit ang nakipag-usap doon sa owners ng lands. Ah, okay. Because these are temporary. The lands have been uh, borrowed uh, for a certain period of time. But of course, the uh, pronouncement of the mayor is un until hindi sila makalipat, uh, they will be allowed to stay there. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yes, Why, thank you. Yes, thank you. Uh, next, please. Uh, next, please. So for the uh, permanent houses, we will be building 2,880 units. NHA will build 1,500. UN Habitat, uh, funded by the Japanese government, uh, will be building 1,000. Uh, and uh, ARM... Uh, built 100, and yung barn, supposed to be, they will be building 200, 200 units. Uh, I think kasama na dun yung uh, uh, kay Senator Padilla dun sa numero na ito. So, so far, ang completed units for uh, NHA, it's 871. Ongoing is uh, 223. For the UN Habitat, 916 units na ang completed. And 19 units na lang ang ongoing. Uh, occupied 641. So uh, may proseso pa para makalipat yung mga beneficiaries. So, uh, going yung proseso. Then yung sa ARM, uh, they have already completed 100 units in Sagiran. Uh, yung sa BARM, uh, ongoing pa yata yung mga proseso nila. So hindi pa sila nakapatayo. So... Uh, out of 2,800, 1,987 has completed, 953 have been occupied. Next, please. Uh, this is the uh, model unit. Uh, for it, is, uh, it has a lot area of 90 square meters, floor area of 46 uh, square meters, uh, merong may three bedrooms, merong may two bedrooms. Some have requested na two bedrooms na lang para mas malaki yung uh, sala sa yung sa may kitchen. But uh, most of the, the houses have three bedrooms. A, a small parking area. Ito yung uh, houses natin sa Kilala and uh, Dansan. Uh, Kilala, Barangay Kilala and Gadungan. Uh, next please. Uh, for the return of the uh, IDPs li living in the most affected area, we had the Katagumbalay. We had a one we have a one-stop shop processing for applications for building permits. Uh, we had a process, a system wherein the IDPs must uh, undergo. Uh, we have a one-stop shop at the city hall. The IDPs must present proof of ownership of the land or the house, and then they must submit some other documents. Uh, so far, 2,899 have already applied for a building permit. Uh, 1,104 have been already approved. Uh, 1,097 ongoing construction and repairs. So 95 yun nakatira na dun sa, uh, sa areas. Uh, in relation to this, we have the TFBM Land Dispute Resolution Committee. Uh, this is chaired by uh, Minister Barra of uh, BARM, of the Ministry of Human Settlements and Development. Uh, the purpose of the Land Dispute Resolution Committee is to address issues pertaining to conflicting land claims. You all know that there are many issues in uh, Marawi and even in Lanao del Sur. There are many claimants of the land and to ensure that... Uh, of that uh, there will be no redo and to ensure that there, there uh, we will uh, ad, ad, uh, we will uh, award uh, the permit 
the exact person, uh, dinadaan po natin sila sa Land Dispute Resolution Committee. Ang members dito ay uh, DNR, uh, LGU Marawi, of course, uh, BARM MILG, DOJ from the province, and we have uh, CSOs na kasama dito sa ating uh, Land Dispute Resolution Committee. We have as observers, UNHCR, World Bank, and other NGOs. Next, please. Next, please. So as far as the management of the dead and the missing, of course, we all know the numbers. Uh, government forces, 168, uh, 924 dun sa Maute, and 114 for uh, the civilians. So uh, may effort ang OCD to uh, give assistance to the relatives of the civilians na namatay. So, uh, so far, uh, out na dispersed nila is uh, 21 million, zero, uh, five, uh, 50,000, 21 million, 50,000 pesos. So, uh, this is for 68 claimants uh, ng Marawi hostage survivors, 26 uh, Hostages na namatay afterwards, after the siege, and uh, 70 uh, IDPs who died in uh, evacuation centers, hospitals, and medical treatment facilities. So, uh, so far, uh, 21 million ang na-dispersed, and we still have a clay, ano, uh, list of uh, applicants who, wanted, who want to avail of the 100,000 pesos uh, financial support from OCD. Next, please. Uh, this is a uh, chart of the uh, most affected area. Ang uh, fund requirement natin for the uh, 22 PPAs, programs, projects, and activities is 10.6 billion. Uh, so far, ang release is 10.2. We still have 392 for uh, remaining for ongoing projects. So for this year, we have 1 billion. We still have several projects na still being validated, uh, requiring some documents. At uh, pag naayos na to, it will be submitted for the approval of the Office of the President. So, so far, 392 million na lang yung nakapending. And uh, may projects naman na nakatutok dun sa 332, 392 millions. We have uh, 22 projects in the most affected area. Next, please. Uh, we have a list of the completed projects. Of course, the first thing that we did was debris management and including the uh, clearing of the UXOs and exploded ordnance. Then we had the uh, master development plan with feasibility study by NSA. Completed the Marawi Museum, yung napuntahan natin doon sa, ano sir, sa, sa Rizal Park. School of Living Tradition, the Convention Center, yung in-road infrastructures and underground facilities ay natapos na rin. Uh, worth 5.7 billion itong mga ito. Next, please. We have also ongoing uh, projects. Many of these are almost completed, uh, but may mga konti-konti pa, so hindi pa namin uh, nilista as completed. Uh, Pismi Porel Park, almost completed. Um... Ito yung uh, bulk water system. As you can see, it's 0.38% uh, progress. So we still have a lot to do, a lot of work uh, for the uh, uh, bulk water facilities. And uh, ito yung pin isa sa mga important projects that, uh, uh, that needs to be completed in the most affected area. Uh, ang latest info is uh, the design for the bulk water system is uh, awaiting approval of LUA. Uh, protective uh, facilities, yung uh, halos tapos na. Lake Lano Promenade, uh, the Halal Slaughterhouse, uh, it, is, uh, it was stopped. Uh, Nagka-problema yung uh, contractor, so uh, medyo nakapending ito. The Grand Padian is almost uh, completed. Uh, we have 400 million for the land acquisition. Uh, zero lang ang nakalagay dito kasi uh, ongoing pa yung kanilang mga proseso, but they have already established a uh, committee at the LGU level because the 400 million was uh, 
uh, download to, downloaded to the LGU at uh, ongoing na yung kanilang mga uh, proseso. Marawi City General Hospital, uh, Port Facilities, School Buildings, uh, ongoing na to, and plus the uh, 24 Barangay Health Complexes for the most affected area. Uh, next, please. And, okay. Uh, ito yung uh, online ongoing projects with the pending fund releases. Uh, for the bulk water, we have the phase two. Uh, worth 100 million, nakapending pa rin ito, pero yung phase one nila medyo, uh, medyo mabagal pa yung uh, accomplishment nila. For the hospital with basic equipment, uh, this is already for endorsement to OP. Uh, equipment na lang ito nung Marawi City General Hospital that is being built. Uh, port facilities, they have phase three, uh, 78 million. Uh, we have additional funding for uh, school buildings and ancillary facilities for DepEd, worth 170 million. Next, please. Uh, the sewage treatment plant, uh, may mga problema pa to. Uh, the bidding was declared uh, a failure uh, last May 2022. Then Lua is uh, uh, working on this. So, sa ngayon, nakapending pa siya. Then multimodal transport hub of the OTR and uh, car park, uh, ongoing procurement na. Uh, drop projects, with, uh, na, na drop na ito, uh, the uh, proponent uh, did no longer pursue this, yung uh, preservation of historical sites and yung maritime headquarters uh, nagkaroon ng land issue, so hindi natuloy. Next, please. For as far as the uh, special projects, uh, we have uh, funded the uh, construction of uh, several mosques and the repair of several mosques. So we have completed already seven. Uh, we have four mosques ongoing pa to include uh, Dansalan Bato Mosque. So yung Bato is actually a uh, part of the family ng uh, nag-initiate nung pagtayo nung uh, mosque, uh, which was visited by Senator De La Rosa uh, last uh, ano, may, may proof of ano, certificate of attendance na dyan sa <laughs> yeah, certificate of appearance. We also have the Sarimanok Stadium uh, around 99% complete na to uh, due for uh, turnover to the LGU. Uh, next please. So RA 11696, uh, the Marawi uh, Victims Compensation Act, ito yung uh, timeline na ginawa namin. Um, even, without the, even without the organization of the Compensation Board, we did initiate some uh, work already so that in, in the event that the board will be uh, organized, meron na, silang, uh, meron na kami ite turnover na nasimulad sa kanila. So... Uh, the EO, uh, RA11696 was uh, signed on 13 April. It was supposed to be effective on 28 April. So, uh, supposed to be yung IRR is, will be uh, made by the board upon its organization. It will be the uh, compensation board, Marawi Compensation Board, who will uh, craft the IRR. But the, we did have some meetings already with the different agencies uh, para makatulong dun sa board. Um, up, one of the uh, provisions under the Act is for the updating of the PCNA by OCD. We had, I think, two meetings already on this. Maybe OCD will uh, have an update later on. Uh, as far as the uh, tasking of OCD on the PCNA. The piling of claims is uh, one year upon the uh, organization of the IRR. Eventually, the MCB becomes a uh, focus officio after its uh, lifespan and the issue assumes uh, the facilities and the functions of the board. Next, please. 
So as I have said a, a little while ago, uh, there is a need for the updating of the PCNA led by the OCD together with the TFBM and concerned agencies. Consultations with relevant agencies on the crafting of the IRR and development of the OSSP or the organization of the board. Next, please. Um, there is a 1 billion uh, fund for the compensation, which is lodged in the and dream fund for next year. This, uh, it will be used uh, for the compensation of the lawful owner of residential, cultural, commercial structures, owners of private demolished uh, properties. Uh, so, nakapasok ito for next year. Next, please. Uh, we are showing the uh, proposed budget for the Marawi Compensation Board. This is the initial draft that uh, has been made. Uh, for MOE, it is proposed for next year uh, 100 million and the capital outlay for another 100 million. Yung uh, capital outlay is to get uh, the office started and acquisition of uh, equipment that will be needed by the board. So a total of 200 million. Next, please. We will now have a video presentation na uh, dun sa actual uh, on-site uh, pictures.
that ITP Sweet Product houses native. Thanks to the massive government of the rehabilitation, Hanoi City is now rising back from the ashes of war and offer opportunities for the people opportunities as it welcomes new developments. That is all, sir. Thank you. So, uh, is that all for you? So, thank you, sir. Uh, thank you for that uh, presentation. I think, sir, you have a question to... Thank you. Tip, tip uh, in? Sec, yes, sir. I have a cameo role there for five seconds. I saw my face. Ang tanong ko ulit, yung sir, yung saluwa, yung tubig, kasi there is a provision here for bulk water. So what's the difference between bulk water and the proposed pipelines coming from a tank supposed to be uh, provided by Lua? Yes, sir. Yung, yung bulk water, sir, yung uh, we'll be getting water from uh, Lake Lanao, uh, pump it through to the old city hall area, Kapantaran. Doon na yung bulk water natin iupunin doon, uh, ililinisin, then ibababa, sir, na sa papunta sa mga bahay. So dalawa yung ano niya, yung bulk water mismo, yung uh, uh, nasa taas, then yung piping yung pababa, sir. Papunta na sa mga so, distribution bulk, line na yung mga piping. Bulk water, sir, would uh, entail the purchase of trucks to deliver the water in bulk to the tanks. And the uh, tanks will deliver to the households, ganun ba yun? Uh, hindi, sir. Uh, Yun ang tawag saan. Maybe the Lua can explain a little later. No? But uh, ito, sir, yung ano, merong, uh, 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 meron tayong compound dun sa taas. Parang... Stern. Uh, uh, so this is level 3. Uh, mas, ano, sir, mas accurate siguro yung Lua na. Okay. Sir, uh, Tordino, can we invite Lua to shed light? The question of Sir Tordino. Lua, you are online. Yes, good afternoon, Mr. Chair. Yes, you have the floor. Uh, narinig mo yung uh, anong ni Senator Tolentino? Yes, Mr. Chair. Please uh, explain. Thank you. Okay, uh, we, we just call our project uh, the bulk water supply system to, to distinguish it from the distribution system because there are two water supply projects for the MAA. One is the provision of supply where in Lua is the implementing agency. And there is another one, the distribution system, wherein the National Housing Authority is the implementing agency. So it is the National Housing Authority who installed all the distribution pipelines within the most affected area. Now, the, the project of Luba calls for the development of the water source, yung nga po, yung surface water from Lake Lanao, then uh, water from the raw water from the lake will be conveyed to the water treatment plant uh, to purify for uh, purification and disinfection. And then ipapampu ito doon sa 
uh, reservoir doon po sa Old City Hall uh, compound sa in Barangay Kapantaran. And from there, it will now be this, uh, conveyed to the distribution system constructed by NHA uh, by gravity. So, uh, yun po ang, uh, ang distinction ng dalawang uh, yung distribution system and the bulk water supply. Mr. Chair. Chairman. Yes, uh, Senator uh, Rubinor Palila. Uh, uh, Excuse muna po ako, Chairman, kay ating uh, Vice Chairman. Maka dagdag lang po ako. Uh, Chairman, uh, mahal na taga-Pangulo, gusto ko lamang po uh, ako po ay masyadong naapektuhan. Uh, Unang pasalamat po ako sa Bangon, Marawi. Sapagkat napakaganda po nung uh, nakita namin mga proyekto, mga mosque na naitayo na. Alhamdulillah, maraming salamat po at sa mga government offices na nakatayo na. Maraming salamat po. At uh, sabi nga po namin sa Islam, ano, maraming bagay nangyayari sa atin. Mukhang malungkot pero... Ang katumbas pala nito, ang resulta pala nito ay maganda, insya Allah. Ang tanong ko lang po doon po sa tubig, nagmula pa lang po nung uh, 2017, problema na po yung tubig, eh, limang taon na po. Alam nyo, uh, sa, ano, sino po ba yung kausap natin kanina? Red Leaf. <laughs> Sir, napaka-importante po ng tubig sa mga Muslim kasi... Yan po yung parte ng aming pananampalataya. Ako po nung nagpunta po dyan, sa 2017, ako po yung nakapagpatayo na din dyan ng mga patubig. Pero yun po ay mga pansamantala, pansamantala lang. Sana po unahin nyo naman po yung tubig. Kasi yung tubig, nandun lang po yung lake lamang. Nasa ilong lang eh. Hindi ko maintindihan bakit taong lang na. Sana po maayos man lang po ito kasi napakahalaga po sa pananampalataya po namin yung mga beses kami nag-uugas uh, para magdasal. Pag kami tumabi sa asawa namin, hindi kami pwedeng bumangon sa umaga na hindi kami maliligo. Napakahalaga po. Eh, kung bibilangin po, eh, ako eh, tatlong beses ako maligo. Eh. Eh, mahal ko yung asawa ko. Eh. Ano pa ba ano, yung iba? Ano, sana po, uh, Sir Rodney, maayos niyo po itong tubig. Tubig po ang mahalaga. You may respond, uh, Noah? Ah, yes, Mr. Chair. Uh, yung pong uh, bulk water supply system project of Luwa ay uh, ongoing na po ito, Mr. Chair. Uh, actually, uh, nasa design stage na po ito noong design and build contract. Mr. Chair, design pa rin? Nasa design pa rin po kayo? Hindi. After uh, five years, uh, ano ba? Ano, ano problema niyo dyan, Mr. Rodney Peralta? Para malaman ng committee na ito kung matulungan kayo. Ano, ano problema niyo? Please uh, share with us. Yeah, thank, thank you, Mr. Chair. Actually, sir, uh, kaya po na-delay itong project na ito is because yung pong unang uh, scope of work noong project ay uh, deep wells po ang recommended uh, water source. So nagkaroon po kasi ng issue on uh, acquisition of the deep well uh, sites na 11 po ang deep wells na kailangan. So mahirap na hirap po kami na mag-acquire uh, ng mga site na pagtatayuan po ng mga deep wells. So eventually uh, nagkaroon po kami ng meeting with the task force Bangon Marawi and with the LGU Uh, dahil, dahil nga po sa issue ng, uh, ng site at saka yung mga right of way para sa mga pipelines, ay uh, na-decide po na instead of deep wells, ay uh, surface water po, uh, Lake Lano na po ang gagawing source of, of, of supply. And uh, of course, uh, nung ni-revise po yung scope of work, uh, it took some time para po uh, matapos yung mga pre-procurement activities at uh, yun po at saka po kailangan na i na i na i resume yung procurement at uh, ngayon nga po ay nasa implementation na po ngayon so thank you mr uh, what, what what do you expect what do you expect from you uh, ano ba in the near future in the long future in the far future or uh, no future for uh, marawi Ga, ganun ang nangyari ano ba anong what do you expect para uh, klaro naman tayo kasi sige lang tayo hearing dito tapos mabuti kayo hala alam mo luwa mabuti kayo kayo hindi kayo maharap sa mga tao doon sa Marawi eh kami nandito kami palaging uh, nilareklamuan 
So, kuwan tayo. Uh, you can just imagine. Uh, ano, what, what, what's our expectations from you? Please. Uh, Senator Tolentino, no, go ahead. Uh, uh, Mr. Rodney, naalala ko po nung unang meeting sa Malacanang yan, meron pong nagdudun, alam ni Mayor yon. may nagdudonate na isang pamilya ng lupa na may tangke na ng tubig. Nakalimutan ko lang yung pangalan ng uh, ginoo. Siya, siya, yung pamilya niya yung merong tangke ng tubig. So hindi ko alam kung ano nangyari na no. Kaharap pa si Pangulong Duterte nung pinag-usapan niyan eh. Isang malaking espasyo. Uh, Mr. Rodney Peralta, kaya mo masagot yun? Ano nangyari doon? Uh, yes, uh, Mr. Chair. Uh, ang nangyari po doon ay hindi na po na ituloy yung pong pag-construct ng tank doon po sa area na sinasabi nyo. And instead, nirecommend na po doon po sa old city hall uh, site na mataas. So, uh, hindi na po yun na tuloy, Mr. Chair. Yung sinasabi po nyo na idodonate na actually, hindi naman pala po idodonate. Eh. Uh, may bayad din po pala yun. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, Mr. Rodney Peralta, what's your position in Lua? Do you know? Uh, ako po yung uh, uh, focal person uh, focal person for Marawi. Focal point uh, for Marawi. So yun nga, balik ako sa tanong ko, wa uh, ikaw ang focal point. So we will focus our attention na uh, to you. Um uh, yeah, you're the focal uh, person. So we will focus our attention to you. Kay kailan kaya? Uh, what do you expect? Can you give us a uh, Para mayroon naman kaming tatanawin dahil uh, yung tamig yan. Alam mo, mabuti pa lang kurinti. Mabuti pa lang pagkain. Pagtabutubig uh, next to air yan. Walang air, water. Napakahira po. Uh, what do you expect from you? Kung magkang niya magsabi sa amin kung may problema ka. Please. Yes, actually, uh, Mr. Chair, ah, uh... Supposedly, uh, dapat po matatapos na yung project this quarter. Unfortunately po, uh, meron po kaming issue doon po sa... sa uh, sandali, uh, uh, sandali, excuse me. Pwede ka mga video, pa, mahirap ito. Baka naman, hindi ikaw yung nagsasalita. Eh. Hindi naman nakita yung mukha mo. Baka may spokesperson ka dyan. Yun. Yun ang pala. Say good night. Mr. Chair, uh, medyo nag-skip lang po. Uh, actually, okay. uh, Supposedly, sir, uh, matatapos na yung project within this quarter. Kaya lang po, uh, nagkaroon po ng issue tungkol po sa site acquisition doon po sa Old City Hall. Kasi yung pong uh, Old City Hall na pagtatayuan po sana ng uh, water treatment plant at saka po yung dalawang uh, water reservoirs ay nasa loob po siya ng military camp. Uh, initially po, uh, nag-submit kami ng uh, site development plan na inaprubahan po ng uh, Philippine Army na doon kami sa taas. And then uh, suddenly po, uh, nagbago po yung, uh, yung position ng Philippine Army. Ang gusto po nila, ilagay namin yung aming water treatment plant and then yung water reservoirs, yung water tank, doon po sa ibaba. Ay, ang sinabi po namin sa Philippine Army ay... Uh, Yung po kasing uh, water tank ay dapat nandun sa mataas na lugar para mag-flow by gravity yung uh, water. At yung po ang ninegotiate namin up to now doon sa with Philippine Army. Actually, nakailang meeting na po kami sa kanila and uh, hanggang ngayon po ay hindi pa po nare-resolve yun. At uh, meron pa pong isa kang, isang issue, yung pong execution ng uh, memorandum of agreement uh, between Lua uh, Philippine Army and the Marawi City Water District because ito pong project ng Lua uh, eventually will be turned over to the Marawi City Water District at sila po yung mag-ooperate and maintain ng uh, facilities. Ang gusto po kasing ipasama ng Philippine Army doon sa memorandum of agreement ay libre po sila sa tubig at mayroon pong term na 10 years lang. So, nirefer po namin ito sa manage, board and management ng Marawi City Water District and the water di district is not am amenable doon po sa dalawang provision na yon yung libre sa tubig at may at tenure na 10 years. So, hanggang ngayon po ay nasa negotiation pa rin po yun uh, with Philippine Army. 
nakakailang uh, follow-up letter na po kami with Philippine Army. Uh, besides doon sa mga uh, meeting namin, uh, pinupunta, pumunta kami doon sa, sa kanilang headquarters. So, naka, nakabinbin po ngayon po yun. So, ang consequence po noon, yung pong aming contractor ng design and build contract, hindi po nila ma-finalize yung design kasi po yung site, yung location, ay hindi pa rin po na-finalize. So, uh, as of now, yung mga design na ginagawa nila ay mostly uh, preliminary pa lang. Kasi nga... Chairman. Po, Sir, ay, dito man si... Do you see something? Opo, oh, Chairman. Pwede siya, si Dr. Padilla. Uh, Asensya na po kayo, si Rodney Peralta. Ang sinasabi niya pong problema, masosolve yan ng isang upuan eh. Kung gusto niyo po talaga. Ang nangyayari po, parang turuan eh. Tuturo niyo po yung Philippine Army. Ito, kami niyo pong itinuro. Ang tanong lang po dyan eh, gusto niyo po bang bigyan ng tubig yung mga tao sa Marawi? Yun lamang po, meron pang taas, meron ibinaba. Uh, ano po eh, hindi naman po tayo bagay sa mga usapin na ganito eh. Mga ganitong usapin, pag ayaw nyo talagang ibigay, kami po talagang pupuntahan ng usapan. Pero kung gusto nyo po talagang gayon, madali po. Gusto nyo, andyan naman din po si, andyan po si Mayor, Chairman, oh. ba't di po natin tanongin si Mayor? Pare, pare ko, ano ba ang mga sinasabi nitong si Sir Rodney? Na may problema na daw dyan, tinuturo si ganito, tinuturo si ganon, ay walang mangyayari. Kahit anong ganda ng mga building dyan, kung walang tubig yung tao, may magkatabi-tabi tayo kung mamamaho din lang naman tayo. Thank you, Rob. Mayor, ganda mo lang. Can you hear from you? Ano bang takbo uh, niyan? Alam ko naman, kayang-kaya mo kung sabi yung army kung yan lang ang problema eh. I don't see any problem with army. Ha? Kung gusto mo, gusto ni Lua, ako mismo kakausap ng army. Uh, Mayor, please, uh, can you give us uh, enlightenment? Magandang hapon po ulit, uh, um, Honorable Chairman and uh, members of this committee. Uh, Kanina ko po ako na nakikinig doon sa explanation ni Mr. Peralta. In fact, ganun din po ang kanyang mga uh, sinasabi, challenges na na-encounter nila during the... Uh, 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 Mayor, Mayor, I will know all that. Baka mas magandang kung tagalin yan. Tagalin mo mo na ang video mo. Support. Sabi ko nga ako. Ah, i-hope na lang yung video. Ah, again, Mr. Chairman, sabi ko nga ako, eh talagang sa tinagal-tagal po ng ating ongoing rehabilitation dito sa Marawi, isa po sa naging problema yung implementation ng bulk water supply na nakalads po sa Uh, Loa. Nabanggit po kanina ni uh, Mr. Peralta yung problema doon sa change of uh, location or change of technology na gagamitin. Yung una po, ang gagamitin natin ay deep well. But instead of uh, deep well, we decided na we will just utilize the sur uh, water surface dahil uh, mas uh, malawak po ang ating uh, lake. So uh, that was almost two years ago, Mr. Chairman. At tayo po ay nagtataka uh, at sinasabi na Hanggang ngayon ay ginagawa pa rin ng design. When in fact, uh, naituro na po natin yung location kung saan ilalagay itong uh, facility na ito. And uh, naituro din natin kung saan ilalagay yung uh, nasabi na reservoir and of course the water treatment facility, yun po yung sa dating city hall. Nagkakaproblema, ang sinasabi ni Mr. Peralta, nagkakaproblema doon sa uh, with the Philippine Army tayo po ay the last time na nagkaroon po tayo ng meeting dito sa City Hall, ay in-offer po natin ang ating tulong na tayo na lang po makipag-usap. But until now po ay uh, wala po tayong narinig sa lowa nang sa ganun para maupuan namin. Ang sinasabi nila, kanya daw hindi uh, nagkakaroon ng, uh, hindi gumugulong ang uh, proyekto because, uh, because of lack of uh, uh, administrator na kung saan pipirma doon sa mga kontrata with the uh, uh, winning uh, contractor. So yan po ang nagiging problema at yan din po ang sinasabi sa atin ng ating contractor dahil hindi, hindi po sila makapag-simula uh, uh, because of uh, probably lack of funds, mobilization funds, dahil nga po hindi pa po nag nagbibigay ng pondo ang LOA because of the uh, lack of signatories doon sa mga dokumento na dapat permahan.
So yun po ang aming uh, nalalaman uh, taliwas doon sa nabanggit ni Mr. Peralta na may problema doon sa uh, site. Tayo po ay anda tumulong at uh, makipag-ugnayan sa Philippine Army of course kay General uh, uh, Bronner and of course kung anumang uh, challenges na kinakaharap ng LOA andang-handa mo po, uh, po kami tumulong dito sa LG Marawi. Thank you Mayor. Thank you Mayor. Uh, Actually, sir, I already talked to General Bronner about this and uh, okay na sa kanyang project. Siyempre, yung mga, of course, the details will not go down to the subordinates. Ano? I think the problem of Lua, yun nga nabanggit ni Mayor, uh, they do not have an administrator as of now. And this has affected uh, the operations of, of the uh, office. Uh, mga signatories, uh, limited ang powers ng OIC, uh, kung kulang yung, uh, because they only have uh, three members, I think, so kung kulang ng isa, uh, the, the board cannot function. So it basically boils down to the absence of a duly designated administration, sir. Okay, thank you, sir. Uh, that's already... Uh, go ahead, uh, Sir Jimmy. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Anyway, good afternoon, uh, everybody. Pero lang akong concern na si Mr. Asik Felix kin ah, answer. Kanina nakita ko na may presentation nyo. Tabing ko lang yung sa percentage no, doon sa housing, no, doon sa mga, especially in the area, doon sa most affected area. Kasi po, ang lagi concern dyan, I had the chance, uh, Mr. Chairman, nung ako pa yung chairman ng Committee on Housing, uh, um, the time that I was in the 7th, during the 7th Congress, I got the chance to talk to the leaders in Marawi, of course, Mayor Gandamra is here, buti na din si Mayor Mahul, uh, si, ba, si Governor uh, Adlong. Ang concern nila at that time, kasi ang present, ang proposal was talagang i-fast track, diba, yung mga housing. Kaya lang ang problema daw nila, some of the residents, no, in the most affected areas, kasi mga traders to eh, I know the Mar mga Maranaos to, they want to stay in the in the housing, the government housing. So I'm happy, Mr. Chair, na na-approve na rin yung Marawi Siege Victims Compensation. Ang tanong ko lang kay ASIC, ilang percent yung tingin yung mag-a-avail ng government housing na pinagawa natin or yung mag-a-avail ng compensation tapos kanya-kanya na lang pagawa? Uh, actually, sir, uh, uh, of course, uh, it will depend on the board uh, kasi they will be the one crafting the IRR. But the way I see it, uh, the yung... I mean, permanent housing uh, could still, kahit na nag ka ng permanent housing, pwede ka pa rin maka-receive sa compensation board. Because I think, uh, personally, because I, again, as I've said, it's the, the uh, board that will decide on that. But kasi doon sa, sa compensation, may portion doon na kung ano yung mga initially na natanggap mo, i-deduct doon sa, sa compensation mo. So, uh, ang, ang nakita... And marami naman, sir, nag-a-avail actually. Uh, so yung, ano, just to clarify, para din ka sa kalaman ng mga taga Marawi, do sa Marawi uh, Siege Victims Compensation, they can use it to uh, rehabilitate or rebuild their homes. Yes, yeah, sir. Maganda, that's, very, that's a very welcome development because during the start, nawala kasi ako for three years, but yun yung pinush doon natin because that was what... the uh, the the leaders of Marawi uh, in, um yes si Mayor Mahul is here um uh, si Governor uh, Adyong na um, ako rin as Mr. Chair my experience as mayor na pag nagkasunog na malaki ganun nako sandali lang pag may binigyan mo tulong yero ganyan ako bisi mabilis na natatayo instead of uh, waiting do you lang the experience on day ang tagal kasi talaga eh no kasi yung develop niya Mr. Chair ma matagal-tagal lang develop Mid lang, matagal, planning, di ba? Ma it will really take years. So I think mas maganda talaga ito. That's why I, uh, I wanted an update. I think it will be faster that government should, uh, maganda yung ano, no? Concentrate on the facilities of government um, structures. Tapos compensation na tayo. And it will be faster for the Marawi residents to be able to go back. So ganun na po ang nangyayari, ASEC. That's, I think that's a welcome development. Yes, sir. Uh, actually, marami sir dyan uh, are really waiting for the compensation to be able to rebuild their houses inside the most affected. Area. Kasi mas maganda yun, mas mabibilis talaga yan. Instead of us developing, uh, again, yung Yolanda, Mr. Chairman, yung, um, ang tagal ho talaga mag, kung gagawa ka ng developer, kasi lang developer din ako noon eh. Matagal yan, yung pag land acquisition, may testing pa yan. 
uh, land development, yung uh, yung uh, structural development till take years, matagal ho talaga. Pero kung bigyan mo sila kanya-kanya, mas mabilis ho talaga ang ano. Tsaka siguro si si uh, ang hirap din noon, Mr. Chairman, pag yung pare-parehong bahay. Naku, minsan pag baka pag nakainom ka sa ibang bahay ka maka mabuksan mo eh. And I think yung mga <laughs> I think, kinala ko kasi mga Maranao, no? mga traders, they trade in green hills. So, may mga ano yan, kaya nila. So, if you give them assistance, pag napag- mapapagawa ng bahay, according to the customs, the Muslim customs, traditions, syempre meron silang ano, customs. Eh. So, that's a good, very, siguro if you can give us na lang um, an update dun po sa, no? sa yung, yung compensation, mas mapabilis lang siguro yes, na, para mapabilis. That's all, Mr. Sir. Sir. That's, sir. Thank you po sa ito, JB. Alam mo, pag, uh, pag nalasing ka tapos ibang bahay na pasukan mo dahil iba yung uh, pari-pari yung forma, ang result na dyan, wonderful tonight. Alam si Dr. Ruby dyan, wonderful tonight. Anyway, uh, thank you for that question. Ba- balikan ko lang yung Loa, sir. Are you still there? Uh, Rodney Peralta? Loa? Yes, Mr. Chair. Yes, uh, ganito na lang sir, ganito. Alam ko yung, alam mo lang ipalabas yung totoong handicap nyo dyan, totoong problema nyo dyan, hindi mo, hindi mo lang may labas-labas yung pala kakulangan ng uh, signing authority. Wala kayong uh, chairman. So, maintindihan rin namin yan. Uh, even kami, uh, that's beyond our uh, uh, kakayahan. Uh, hindi lang tayo kung may point ang uh, Malacanang. Kaya nga, Advice na lang namin sa inyo, November, alam mo na yung mga ginagawa nyo dyan. Uh, sana, yung mga final details, yung sabi mo na design, design, matatapos na. Dapat nakaribin yan. Once mag point si Presidente ng bagong LUA, Administrator, yung tuloy na yan. Dapat uh, isang kuha na yan. Uh, tuloy ng takbo yan. Sana nakaprepare na kayo dyan. Uh, kayo manangan dyan. Yung lang advice ko sa iyo. Sir, thank you. Yes, Mr. Chair. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Chairman. Yes, uh, Senator Robin Padilla. Apo, mahal na taga-Pangulo, eh, itong local water utilities administration na ito, noong 2022, binigyan na sila ng napakalaking budget. Pero ngayon, 2023, binawasan sila ng 98%. So, siguro, isang pagpapatunay yon na hindi nagkatrabaho itong mga ito. Kaya siguro ganito ang klase. Hindi ko katanggap-tanggap sa akin yun eh. Hindi ko matanggap limang taon na eh. Kung ito kahapon lang, pwede kong matanggap eh. Pero nakikita ko yung paghihirap ng mga kapatid ko doon. Hindi nila gusto yung nangyari sa kanila doon. Uh, Mr. Rod Di Peralta. Hindi ko matatanggap yung mga paliwanag po ninyo. At kung ito ay magkakaroon ng budget hearing dito sa October 30, asahan nyo po yung pagmumukha ko rin. Thank you, Senator Roy Padilla. Uh, Lua again. Note of the observation of Senator uh, Robin Padilla. Uh, alam mo, totoo nga yung sinasabi niya. Ibigis ko lang kayo eh. Itong election lang kayo na wala ng uh, administrator. You had your administration, administrator for the last uh, five years and yet uh, hindi itong aksyonan. So hindi yan pwede magiging rason na walang administrator na magpirma ng mga kontrata. But then again, andyan na tayo, harapin natin yung problema na yan. Uh, sana, uh, bilisan nyo yung pag-action nyo dyan. Uh, so, thank you. Yes, uh, from here, thank you. Yes, yes, sir. You want to react? You want to react? Uh, just saying thank you, Mr. Chair, for the uh, advice. Yes, but uh, thank you is not enough for uh, Senator Ruben Padilla. He, he wants actions. He wants action sa uh, yun lang. Maraming salamat, sir. Mahal na kagapangulo. Kasi po, magmula pa po nung 2017, yun na po ang problema. Yun na po, yung pati po yung foundation ko, yun po ang ginawa namin talaga, masolusyon na yung tubig doon. Napakasakit lang po, na hanggang ngayon, na bilyon-bilyon ng budget. Bira, yung tubig. Pasensya din po, Sir Rodney Peralta. Pasensya po, eh, ganun po talaga. Eh, trabaho po niya yan eh. Yeah, and to think, no? Kung may mga marami, yung lake ay napakaganda ng tubig, preskong-presko yung tubig, tapos magiging issue yung kawalan ng tubig sa mga nakatira doon sa city mismo. Kung 
Bigin ka sa tubig na wala, wala, wala lawak ng tubig, presko ang presko ng tubig. Eh, it's just, uh, sige lang, mahabang at wala dito. <laughs> Next meeting, you prepare, kay, prepare kayo luwa para maayos natin dito. Hindi, eh, huwag mo, huwag mo isipin na ginigipit namin kayo, ha? We are here to help you. Kung mayroon kami may tulong, kaya tayo nag-hearing uh, dito, hear your uh, side and we want also to hear our side what are, what are our expectations so magdutulungan tayo so yun lang well, salamat Mir, uh, we would like to listen to BPWH yes uh, afternoon Mr. Chairman yes uh, you have uh, your uh, presentation your honors yes, yes. Mr. Right. Chairman good afternoon and everyone uh DPWH will be presenting its program to help Marawi City rehabilitate and reconstruct together with its, uh, what you call this, uh, suburbs. And uh, we have uh, seven projects in Marawi City, and it is not within the ground zero, Mr. Chairman. It is outside. So three of, three of which have already been completed in February 2021, more or less uh, in the sum of uh, 1 billion and divided into three projects, uh, Mr. Chairman, and the details of which will be presented in the, what you call this uh, screen, Mr. Chairman, by uh, Engineer Sawali of the Project Management Office, the office that implemented these projects, Mr. Chairman. Yes, you have the floor, uh, Engineer Sawali. Go ahead. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Members of the Special Committee on Malawi Rehabilitation po. Sa inyo pong lahat, good afternoon. Uh, as uh, Attorney Fernand is saying, yung pong uh, task ng DPWH sa rehabilitation of Malawi is nandito po sa labas ng most affected areas sa Malawi City. Yan po yung map po. Dito sa bandang kanan, yun po yung uh, map of Malawi City. Medyo malabo. Pero yun pong uh, medyo green, uh, red sa baba, yun po yung most affected uh, area. At yun pong concern namin are the Marawi Trans Central Roads concern, composed of uh, uh, 23 road sections uh, varying from uh, 5 kilometers up to meron pong mahaba na 9 kilometers. Mga ang total po ng uh, Marawi Trans Central Road is uh, 37 kilometers. Yan po nung uh, nung 2017 nagconduct po ang uh, JICA at nagbigay sila ng grant to, uh, for the support for the rehabilitation of uh, and recovery of Marawi City. Doon nga po ginawa yung pondo na yun, Doon po sa outside the most affected area. Ang binigyan po ng priority was the construction of 10 road sections with a length of uh, 18.92 kilometers. Yun po kanyang aggregate lengths. The civil works or the construction ng road was composed of uh, contract package 1A, your honor, contract package 1B, and the contract package 2. So ito po yung uh, kanyang uh, breakdown ng mga contract packages. Yun po nga uh, contract package 1A with a total length of 9.7 kilometers was uh, undertaken by uh, John Venture as a friend of contractors, Unimasters Conglomerate Incorporated, MMA Achievers Construction, CDH Construction and Flying 7 Construction, joint venture po yun. Ang kanya pong naging total contract amount was 431 million po, Your Honor, and was completed on September 16, Let's 
Así que, uh, for a while. Ayan po. Uh, another part of the contribution po ng JICA, the PWH, sa so Marawi Recovery and Rehabilitation is the conduct of feasibility study for the uh, DM Central Market outside Grand Zero din po ito sa so barangay sa, sa Gunsunan and the sports complex din po sa so barangay Patani, diyan din po sa Marawi City. And yun po ang Visibility study ng bridge, doon naman po sa loob ng uh, ground zero. The total project cost po lahat-lahat at 1.078 billion pesos po pag nagawa yung uh, civil works. Next slide please. Ayan po. So, part din po ng uh, rehabilitation is uh, to complete the uh, yung 23 road sections na sa Marawi Trans Central Road. Kasi nga po, ang nagawa natin was only road sections doon sa funded by grant. Meron din yun. Para po matuloy at matapos mo yung ano, yung construction ng uh, Marawi Trans Central Road uh, Tasok po natin ito sa JICA loan. Loan na po ito. Hindi na po yung grant. Pero yung total net po yan ng 18.78 kilometers po. Composed of pack or contract packages. Okay, para mabilis tayo, engineer. Anyway, uh, you've already uh, said that lahat ng projects niyo ay nasa labas ng uh, supporting the the city proper. Yes, Your Honor. Maa at saka least affected area. Pero kayo, sa labas kayo. Your Honor. Yeah. So, meron pa kayo ang way way down? Wala na. Yun nga po. Uh, hindi nyo po, meron po kaming apat pa na ang going complete po yung Marami Transcendent. Next slide, please. Before we continue, I would like to Acknowledge the presence of Senator Lorraine Ligarda. Ma'am, thank you. Yes, uh, assalamu alaikum. Uh, good afternoon. Wabati po sa inyong lahat. After the ch chair answers his questions or any of you, I would like to make my manifestations and pose some questions. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. Thank you, Senator Lorraine. Uh, after we don't... Uh, 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 okay, gonna? Yes, thank you. Thank you, Chief Chairman. So, your question is, uh, kung meron pa ba, other than the completed project under the grant, meron pa po kaming uh, four contract packages supported by the JICA loan naman po to finish the uh, 23 uh, transcentral roads outside the most affected area. Nakikita? Uh, yes, Your Honor. In the way, um, nakikita man natin yung projects nyo doon. Uh, okay na tayo dyan sa inyo para mapagbigyan natin yung iba, mag-present. Yes, huh? Mr. Chairman. Yes, we, uh, we provide uh, a copy of uh, the list of projects, the DPWH and the, in Marawi City, Mr. Chairman. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you Mr. Chairman. Thank you, this committee. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. I would like to move the floor to Senator Lorraine Ligarda. Ma'am, the floor. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, Senator Ronald De La Rosa. I also wish to thank uh, our brother, um, of course, Senator Robin Hood Padilla, as well as all of you here. When the Marawi siege happened, I was on my last term, Senator. Marawi City and um, Lano del Sur and the autonomous region is very close to my heart. I used to frequent it a lot of times, and it is rich in culture and so much potential for livelihood. That is why when the siege happened and the president declared the need for a rehabilitation fund, may I, Mr. Chair, put on record the funds that we allocated when this representation was chair of the Senate Committee on Finance. 
I would therefore want to ask, Mr. Chair, with your permission, if it's not been asked or reported to us, so that the rehabilitation and reconstruction program for Marawi can be fully explained in terms of the budgets given by Congress. Um, if I am correct, in 2018, 10 billion pesos was given for the Marawi recovery program immediately after the siege of 2017. This was under my watch. And 2019, 3.5B, my last term last year in the Senate. I think it was already Senator Angara in 2020, 3.5B, and then 5.5B in 2021, and this year it's 1 billion. Uh, may I know the amount of utilization, implementation, and obligation of all these monies that were given for the reconstruction and rehabilitation and recovery of our dear brothers and sisters in Marawi City. Second, may also request the DTI. I think a DTI is present here. You will recall, um, Aztec, I'm not sure if you're new, but right after the Marawi crisis, there was a provision for a budgetary allocation for micro enterprises so that the women weaving landap yeah, and other forms of textiles and other artisans that I used to frequent in the markets in Marawi City may be given assistance. And I allocated under my own amendment 50 million for DTI shared services facilities. Yung mga magagandang baul na may ukit ukit na meron mga inlay, yung ating land up weavers. I know when the crisis happened, of course, people were not ready. They could not run away with their and with their hand looms, right? Um, we also had a project for the um, organ reconstruction. So many more. May we know uh, who are the beneficiaries and uh, was the 50 million of DTI SSF helpful to give immediate livelihood to our brothers and sisters uh, ravaged by the crisis in Marawi. Aside from that, I believe we also allocated uh, in the Maranao Cultural Center, the Maranao State University, the Maranao Cultural Center. May I also inquire, uh, Mr. Chair, from whoever is a relevant uh, resource person to answer this, whether it's been set up. Mm -mm. So, I also, as a last question, may I know whether every year's allocation, including the first year of 10B, is this enough to be able to revive, rehabilitate the full recovery of Marawi City as the Islamic city of the Philippines? Um, and what assistance else we could provide? Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Senator Lauren. Uh Want to react, Senator uh, Asik Tolentino? Hello. Good afternoon, Mr. Chair, Madam Senator. I would like to inform the body that as for the shared service facilities, the FBM DTI established 40 SSF for the uh, 50 million mom. We have utilized 97 percent for the 40. Uh, uh, shared service facilities company that includes the the women who are doing the weaving and businesses, ma'am. We will uh, forward to you, madam, the list of the 40 recipient of the shared service facilities. I see. I, because that was way back in 2018 or 19. Yes, ma'am. So it's been four years. Uh, I'm sure that the budget would have reverted if it was not utilized. So we're saying now that it was fully utilized, sir. Yes. Uh, nakatulong ba ho sa mga nawala ng trabaho, nakapagbigay ba ho ng kabuhayan, umaandar pa ba ang mga negosyo na naitayo mula po sa mga shared services facilities at 
kung mayroon pa bang mga nangangailangan, sigurado ako meron para ma-earmark. Dahil alam po natin, isang billion po yun ng taong ito. Pero yung 50 million po, in-earmark po natin para sa Marawi. Uh, mahal na kagalang-galang na senador, napakalaking tulong po ng inyong ibinahagi na pondo para sa mga pamilyang nawala ng hanap buhay ng panahon yun, lalo na rin po ng panahon ng pandemya. Talaga po ang mga kababaihan ang natuto na magkaroon ng bagong kaisipan tungo sa isang resilience na pagkatao at tumindig po sila sa tamang panahon. At sa ngayon po, na mamonitor din po ng DTI na mayroon po kaming 96% Success rate, papano po ito ginagawa dahil mayroon po tayong mga negosyo centers at mayroon din po tayong itinatag na kung saan matatagpuan ang mga produkto ng ating mga kapatid at kung saan po nabibigyan ng platform, ng marketing platform at tama po ang sinabi nyo ang paggagawa po ng mga iba't ibang uh, crops na yari ng ating mga kapatid ay nakalatag po doon at ngayon po sila po ay kabahagi na ng iba't iba pang branches ng One Town One Product Showroom. Mahal na Senator. Uh, salamat po sa inyong pigay ng informasyon, uh, Mr. Chair. Kung maari pa po ako magsalita, Mr. Chairman, hihigi po ang ating komite kung maari po ng report po maliban sa sinabi natin na gamit. Gusto po natin malaman sino po itong 14 to? Yes, po. Sino pong mga organisasyon Anong mga pangalan, yes, sa ang lugar sa Marawi, uh, letrato, uh, video sana ng kanilang mga produkto. Kasi po, natamaan ng krisis, natamaan ng pandemya, patuloy pa ang pandemya. Kailangan malaman natin, kamustahin po natin sila. Kasi ang tagal na uh, at ang dami na pong uh, naranasan na hindi natin uh, akalain. Kaya kailangan pa po natin mag-allocate ay I'll be more than willing dahil po yung MSME, Mr. Chairman, ay isa po sa aking mga batas nung ako'y batang-bata ng -bata senador. Alam ko yan ang makakaahon sa grassroots na pangangailangan. So, nagagalak ako na ski bago yata kayo, no? Alam nyo na merong ganun. Pangalawa, pinagamit. Pangatlo, sulit. Pangapat po, patingin. <laughs> ano po nagbago ng buhay at ano pa po ang kailangan? Pero maliban po dyan, mas malaki po, ito ay 50M lang. Yung bilyon-bilyon po na linaan, ito po ay sa infrastruktura, sa housing. Uh, ilan po po ang suma total nitong sinabi ko po? Marami po. 10 plus 3, uh, 13.5. So 17, 18 plus 5, 22 B. Tama ba ho? 22 billion, Mr. Chairman ang binigay po sa Marawi Rehabilitation, ito ba ho, wala sa akin ng breakdown, siguro hindi DTI ang sasagot po, uh, para po sa kalsada, para ba sa mga airport ba ho ito, sa utilities, ito ba ba fully utilized, or marami pa pong kailangan gawin para ibalik sa normal at yumabong po ng muri ang kagandahan ng Marawi City. Salamat, Mr. Chair. Thank you, uh, Senator Ligada. Who wants to react yes, on that? Sir. Um, yeah. Maraming salamat po. As po uh, bang 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 sa DTI, doon sa SSF, because I was a member of the committee, selection committee dyan sa 50 million na SSF, and we really uh, uh, had a good selection of the beneficiaries. In fact, malapit na pong i-turnover kasi yung, yung equipment ay hindi kagad mapupunta doon sa beneficiary. Merong uh, grace period na ilang, uh, ilang taon para makita kung talagang maayos yung patatakbo ng cooperative. And then uh, we are beginning to, uh, uh, to validate and DTI, uh, kasi nakapag-meeting kami last time, uh, they are planning to uh, turn over na yung equipment. Uh, sabi ko nga ma'am, hindi ka agad magiging pag-aari ng cooperative yung equipment. It will take uh, a few years. Ipakita nila na inaalagaan nila, ginagamit nila. And after evaluation, it turn over na. So uh, DTI, together with Task Force Bangun Marawi, uh, is working for the turnover of some, not all, but some of the uh, equipment. As far as the fund is concerned, uh, of course, the original plan of the uh, Bangun Marawi Comprehensive Rehabilitation and Reconstruction Plan Program 
uh, entailed an investment of 60.5 billion. Uh, as of now, we uh, had a uh, 43.9 billion uh, total released. Out of that is 32.5 uh, from the government. Uh, because the funding is uh, multiply, uh, iba ibang sources po yung uh, ginagamit dito. But as far as the Endrim Fund uh, of uh, the OCD is concerned, uh, the total release was 24.96 billion. Uh, obligated, cleared na talaga yung 18 billion. Uh, but the total uh, dispersed uh, 14.282 uh, billion. We could provide a detailed uh, report on this, Madam. Madam Senator, para mak makuha natin yung... Salamat po. So, ang kasagutan po nyo ay hindi lang yung sa DTI SSF, kundi na rin po sa sinabi kong annual release po uh, para sa infrastructure. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I think that's your name. Sorry, kasi ang pangalan po nyo ay nakalihis. Uh, okay, kayo po ang head ng task force. Ako po yung sa field office sa Marawi. I am based in Marawi. I see. Ngayon po. As of, yeah, until now, ma'am. Since, uh, since uh, before. Since 2017. Oh, good. So let's continue October. with it. Yes. Okay. okay. So you're familiar with these budgets that we allocated yes. to you. Oh, so kayo po ang committing namin nun. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Matanda I, na po ako. Very, very good. So, uh, na ako sa Marawi. in yes. your allocation for the NEP of this year, I don't know, Mr. Chair, if this has been asked, did they provide you what is needed for the complete recovery of Marawi? Because... It's been five years, Mr. Chair. Kasi ayaw natin po na limang taon na ang nakaraan ay may nakakaligtaan rin pong matulungan. Uh, for this year, uh, for next year po, uh, for this year we had one billion. Uh, halos lahat po yun naka-allocate na. May konti na lang na documentary requirements ang uh, kailangan. For next year, we had another one billion pero compensation ng board uh, para sa Marawi compensation na po yun. Uh, that is uh, specifically for the compensation uh, of uh, the residents, uh, 1 billion next year. Mr. So, Chair, meron pa ba hong mga IDPs, internally displaced persons, uh, biktima po nung siege, nung crisis noon, or lahat po ay nakabalik na po sa tahanan, napagtayo na po ng sariling tahanan, o nag-relocate na po somewhere? Um... Yung nakabalik ko, uh, Madam Senator, is 28,280. Uh, this is uh, outside MAA uh, because we categorized uh, Marawi into most affected area. This is a 24 barangays, ground zero dati na tinatawag. Uh, and uh, less affected area, this is uh, 72 barangays uh, outside the ground zero. Those res residents from the less affected area have already returned. Uh, since uh, early 2018. As of now, uh, um, the IDPs, uh, meron tayong 4,916 in the uh, transitory shelters, and we also have uh, uh, 95, so, uh, 953 so permanent shelters. The others, we consider them a home-based, uh, hindi pa talaga totally nakabalik, but um, our uh, discussions with uh, other entities, meron kasi yung nakapag-tayo uh, na ng negosyo sa ibang lugar, like in Manila, Cagayan de Oro, in Cebu, even in other municipalities in Landau del Sur. And uh, from uh, the informal survey, some of them opt not to return soon. Kasi nga, medyo may uh, meron na silang uh, uh, business, ano, uh, but the others are mainly based in, in illegal. Uh, yung iba nag-uupa, yung iba nasa relatives ba. Sorry, binanggit po nyo yung transitory shelters. Saan po yung transitory shelters within the city? Um, we have sa Gunsongan, uh, Buganga, Rorogagus, Dulay, Patani, and uh, we also have in Sagiran. Uh, ito po yung nasa, mga barangay ba yan po sa yes. Sudad? Or outside? Uh, barangay in uh, Marawi. In Marawi. Yes, Ah. for one in uh, Sagirang. Meron so meron pa rin sa transitory shelters? Ilang libo po yun? 4,960. 4,000? Limang oh, taon na po? Uh, uh, Ma'am, excuse but, me, yes. Senator Legarda. I just like to klaro lang natin, sir. When you say transitory shelters, baka inisip pa ni Senator Legarda yung nakatend pa rin. Wala na tayong tent ngayon. Wala na. Meron ng mga bahay doon na walang occupant eh. 
Kaya sumugda nga yung ibang ginawa natin sa bahay. Hindi pa na okay. So, wala na natin. Wala na. This is, ano, con- con- bahay na. Concrete house. Uh, siguro yung NHC could explain. Thank you for the clarification, Mr. Chair. <laughs> ano na po ito? Uh, actually, parang semi-permanent ito. Because this it's concrete. Uh, medyo maliit lang ng konti than a permanent house. Uh, in fact, uh, concrete roads, uh, electricity, uh, may problema lang sa tubig, uh, yun ang medyo ano natin. But it's, it's, ano, uh, it's actually concrete uh, houses po, ma'am. What you say, sir, transitory shelter? Kasi may balak po ang gobyerno para bigyan sila ng permanent shelter or nagaantay po silang... Sarili na lang kapasidad, magkaroon po ng sarili. Uh, as of now, ma'am, uh, those qualified for permanent shelters from transitory shelters, nililipat natin sa permanent shelters. But the majority of those living transitory shelters will uh, either repair or rebuild their house in the most affected area. Ang mga nasa transitory shelters, ito yung naapektuhan sa ground zero. Nasira yung bahay, yung iba totally na-destroyed, yung iba partial na-destroyed. So, rather than uh, ano, tinanggal na natin yung mga evacuation centers, uh, yung mga tents, yung sa gyms, wala na po yun. So, linipat natin sila sa kanya-kanyang bahay na, na tinatawag natin transitory. Transitory in a sense na eventually iwanan nila yon and they will uh, go back to their uh, previous uh, place of residence in the most affected area. If it's been five years, Mr. Chair, Parang napakatagal na na maski ba semento po ang gawa, pero walang tubig, mahirap po yun, uh, na transitoring limang taon. Uh, ba't hindi natin gawin very humane condition yung transitory at kung wala silang mapupuntahan naman, if it's government land and it's been funded by government, is it legal to award it to them or hindi po allowed yun? Mr. Spahn. Uh, the land is uh, uh, privately owned. Uh, pinahiram lang po yan for uh, several years. Uh, with the ang concept kasi doon, eventually, uh, lilipat sila uli sa most affected area. Timeline, sir, for to phase out completely the transitory shelter and to provide humane living conditions for the more than 1,000 uh, victims. Um, most of the, the residents actually of the most affected area uh, per discussion uh, are waiting for the compensation uh, to be used to re uh, rebuild. Uh, not, maybe not totally, kasi malalak talaga yung bahay doon, hindi kaya siguro. But at, at, as a start, ano, they are waiting for the compensation to start uh, rebuilding their houses. The one billion, Mr. Chair? Yes, uh, that's uh, your honor. That's uh, only one billion. And you can just imagine if uh, ma, ma uh, constitute na yung uh, Marawi Victims uh, Compensation Board at uh, mag-start na sila mag-award, one million will be consumed in one month, I think, or uh, ilang weeks na nga pag nagdatingan na yung lahat ng mga claimants. So that should be taken into consideration during the budget. One billion handle. Because, uh, alam mo, uh, your honor, that is why all these people in the transitory uh, residences were uh, just uh, are, are just awaiting for the release of the uh, compensation while uh, they want to repair their houses before they they take uh, they relocate themselves back to their uh, old houses. So, yun lang hindi tayo talaga nila yung uh, panggastos. Kung meron na tayo sana tayo may release, din saka baka si, nag-start na ito, nag-repair ng bahay nila at uh, very eager na sila. In fact, uh, some of them are already frustrated for a very long delayed uh, uh, yung pagbabalik sa kanila mga original houses. So, ikaw man ang uh, magaling dyan sa budget, uh, Your Honor. Tulungan natin ito sila na makahanap ng additional from that 1 billion sa namadagdagan natin para mapabilis yung uh, balik nila. Dahil yun lang talaga hinihintay ng mga tao doon. Thank, Thank you, Mr. Chair, for that clarification. May I further clarify and ask, uh, the Chair mentioned that we are awaiting the completion of the board. Ibig sabihin ba po, hindi pa po nabubuo yung board, kaya hindi pa po mabigay yung compensation. Yeah, malakanya nga siya to to appoint uh, 
the members of the board. The new board po? Yeah. Pero nung previous administration, may board na po? Wala yeah. pa because uh, oh. the board is a uh, result of the no that we passed. Last April lang po. Bago lang po. Just last April. April. April lang oh. uh. Tanong ko po, kung hindi po naipasa yung batas mula po nung krisis ng 2017, uh, ano po yung paraan na pagbigay po ng kompensasyon na pinansyal sa mga itong biktima, sa mga biktima po. Kung wala po yung batas, there must have been a, a policy, a process uh, from government, national government, to the victims in 2018, 19, 2021. What if there was no law that was enacted by Congress? There was no compensation given at all, sir? Mm -mm. Uh, yung, uh, Madam Senator, yung uh, it's not uh, compensation. Uh, what was given to the IDPs were uh, different interventions, sa livelihood support. Uh, yes, but as far as uh, uh, for the House is concerned, uh, wala po. Yeah. Okay, I understand it better now. So the funding that we've been given, that, uh, uh, the, the 10B, the 3.5, all of that, it's for infrastructure only for government, uh, for DPWH, etc. And what we discussed earlier were interventions for Kabuhayan, SME. But not, not only, halo-halo uh, na po yan, uh, medical, uh, livelihood, uh, peace uh, interventions, uh, peace building, cohesion building. Uh, the whole amount is... Uh, halo-halo uh, na, even in transitory shelters, that is part of that. But as far as the compensation for uh, the destroyed uh, properties, the houses, uh, nakahiwalay po yun. So it's only now, Mr. Chair, after five years, na magkocompensate po ang mga biktima na hindi po tayo magkakaproblema, may pala na po, listahan, kung sino po talaga yung most affected victims, yung semi-affected, ganun ba ho? Kompleto po tayo sa inventaryo po at database ang ating iniintay na lang yung composition po ng board sa bagong batas. Tama ba ho? Um, actually, Madam Senator, it will be the uh, board that will craft the IRR, Implementing Rules and Regulations. They will be the ones to uh, determine what are the uh, requirements that will be passed because the, the, the beneficiaries will have to apply and we'll have to submit the uh, needed documents to be determined by the board. As far as uh, least uh, concerned, uh, marami naman tayong pwedeng pagbasihan dyan. We had an in initial uh, Katanor profiling, which we did for one year. I think that was 19, uh, 2019 to 2020. We have a list of beneficiaries of the different agencies, uh, like the SWD, DTI. Uh, we, we are getting that, and we want to collate that. And, uh, no, uh, Part of the uh, uh, coming up with a that, that will that will help a lot uh, yes. to the board. Yes, yung mga mga existing existing records yung yan available for the last how many years na five five, five, five years, years uh, siguro daw ako meron na kayo yung mga listahan yan and maybe recommend that to the board. Ito yun ito ito yung mga yes, tao sir. na ito para makakatulong yan sa trabaho nila. Mr. Chair, kung maari ko lang pong basahin yung nakalagay po sa net para sigurado po. At hindi lang po sa ating isang daan na nasa hearing na ito, dahil marami sigurado akong fans si Chair Sen Bato uh, na nanonood dahil marami rin nag, uh, matagal nang nagaantay ng kanilang kompensasyon. Ito po, ito po yung nasa NEP. Ibig sabihin po ng NEP ay National Expenditure Program. Ito po yung President's Budget. Bago pa po yung GAB nasa House of Representatives at yung GAA po nasa Desyembre ay matatapos at lalagdaan ng Pangulo. So, ibig sabihin po, siguradong nandyan ang pondo. Sabi nga ni Chair Bato, Sen Bato, ay isang bilyon pero sana ay ma-increase. So, just for the record, Marawi Siege Victims Compensation Fund, the amount of 1 billion pesos appropriated herein shall be used for the compensation to any lawful owner of a residential, cultural, commercial structure and other properties in Marawi's main affected areas or other affected areas destroyed damage either totally or partially on the occasion of the Marawi siege. 
owners of private properties demolished pursuant to the implementation of the Marawi Recovery Rehabilitation Reconstruction Program in accordance with RA 11696 and guidelines to be promulgated by the Marawi Compensation Board na binanggit po ninyo. Ito ang na-confuse ako dahil tinanong ko sa LBRMO. It says, release of funds shall be subject to the submission of a special budget so one to Section 35, Chapter 5, Book 6 of EO 292-1987. I'm not sure. I'm just putting it on record, Mr. Chair, because this last line could be confusing because if it's already in the NEP and it indicates it's pending, it's subject special budget, that perhaps you could clarify with DBM what this line means or maybe if somebody from LBRMO can explain what it is because it's a special budget needed or is this already a programmed appropriation? It is program appropriate. Okay, the expert is already answering here. <laughs> the former head of the LBRMO who has since retired but is working now with me. Uh, she has 40 years of experience in a budget because it can be confusing when it says on the subject to the submission of a special budget. Pag hindi expert sa budget, baka sasabihin naman nila, oh, binigay pero wala. O oh, dyan, pending the submission. So, yun na yun. Nansan na yun? Huh? Ah, they just need to request. Ayun. Mr. Chair. Sige, salamat. Um, yes. Napag-usapan yung 1 million budget. 1 billion. Suggest, uh, 1 billion, sorry. Oh. Um, if you will notice, ang coverage lang niya, yung destruction ng property. So may, opo, yeah. yung in, uh, uh, parang payment ng residential mm. houses nila. Tapos, sir, if you will read the law, covered yung loss of life. Loss of life, loss of livelihood. Yes, and uh, uh, yung ano, those presumed legally dead. Destruction legally of dead. Land. Yes, sir. Um, yun sana sir ang ano namin na uh, ipopropose na ma-change itong text na ito doon sa GAA to cover loss of lives. Thank you. Thank yeah, very you. good na binanggit nyo yan. Magaling talaga tong hearing na ito. Uh, pwede nyong ibigay po. Yan ang yes, output sir. ng hearing ni uh, Senator Bato. Yeah. And maybe the nomenclature can be expanded to cover loss of lives. Yes. I have to go to session, Chair. Thank you for accommodating my... Alam naman, magpaiwan ako dito. Susan, saan tayo doon? Okay, so I... I, uh, I, uh, I thank you for allowing me the time to make clarifications. I simply want to help. And, um, yeah, sorry, I have to leave. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, and we are here in full support for the full recovery of the beautiful, historic Islamic city of Marawi. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Lori Lagarda. Uh, one minute na lang, Mag malit na ako doon sa aming session. Yung hindi nakapagsalita, Sir, sa siguro sa next uh, updating uh, meeting na naman natin, next uh, hearing natin, uh, uh, we'll invite you again. Sinsya na, yung hindi nabigyan ng pagkakataon. Uh, from here, uh, the session is uh, suspended. Thank you.